No, Shalom, uh, the battery died. I was in the middle of the scripture. Get back to that old Fiji boy. Oh my goodness. I'm having a bad day today. This Bible page is smells so there it is, like one of them old Bibles. It's got the old smell to it. It smells like an old comic book or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to talk about the criteria. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to read that one part again. So, uh, Ephesians 5 and 4. Yeah. So this is what you're supposed to not do, right? It says, neither filthiness nor foolish, excuse me, neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving a thing. Right, like we were saying before, uh, these people, they're jesters, they're jokers. You know what I mean? They clown. Oh, they clown. They clown. They cl uh, clowns. They even say, too, boy, we was clowning. We was acting a fool, boy. You should have seen it. You know what I mean? What's that? Oh, yeah, the class clown. They be proud to be the, uh, called the class clown. That's a badge of honor. Man, these, people, man, these people out here don't care about knowledge and truth, man. They just worried about acting a fool. That's why you walk down the street, you don't hear nothing but foolish talking. It's nonsense. Uh, for this you know that no whoremonger nor unclean person, you know, a whoremonger. <laughs> That's an unclean person. That's all these freaking adulterers, adulterers, homosexuals, trannies, weirdos, pedophiles. That's all you have out here. Yeah, they fuck dogs. You got bitches that let the dog lick their pussy. That's disgusting, man. That's trifling as all hell. Especially the Edomite woman. Oh, I seen this meme of a, uh, I wish I had it on my phone, man. Should have downloaded it. There's this meme. It's like uh, what white people look like before they go to work, and it had a picture of a white woman French kissing a dog. <laughs> For this, you know that no whoremonger who's an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of uh, Yahweh and the Most High. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because these things come with the wrath of the Most High upon the children of disobedience. Look, be ye not partakers. And that's a lost their original point. Why do we, oh yeah, we was talking about Oprah. Yeah, yeah. Right, because in the last video, we was talking shit about Oprah. Just in case they didn't see the other video. Because y'all only see that video, Oprah was talking about balance. She was giving a speech. She was talking about equality and balance. And as soon as she mentioned balance, the bitch fell down. She got broke. She tripped over her own dress. That's the most high showing that she's the one that does not have balance. You know what I mean? And we was talking about how uh, she, you know, oh, the Oprah, the OWN network, the Oprah Winfrey channel. You know about that? She got her own channel, right, called OWN. And when you turn it backwards, it says NWO, like the New World Order. Pretty much saying the New World Order owns you. You know what I mean? And she was good friends with Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein, however you say his name. That fucking rapist, he just got locked up. But here it is, Oprah Winfrey, many occasions, seen hanging out with him, saying he's such a good guy. That's how we know people like Oprah, you know, behind closed doors, she's doing all kind of wicked shit. She probably, you know, she she's raping people. You know what I'm saying? I won't doubt raping children. You know how these famous people get down? That, that Harvey Weinstein shit proves it. To be famous, to get in a Harvey Weinstein produced movie, you had to fuck Harvey Weinstein. So it, go through the list. Look up all the movies produced by Harvey Weinstein and look at the cast. And you know, everybody in that cast sucked his dick or got fucked by it. Right. And he got a long filmography. I looked it up on Wikipedia. This motherfucker long. So these people doing all kind of wicked shit in secret out here. 
Uh, Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things come with the wrath of the Most High upon the children of disobedience. Be you not partakers with them. So if somebody's disobedient, they're not walking in the way of the Lord, they're not keeping the covenant, the commandment, we're not supposed to hang around with them. You know, we're supposed to have no parts with those people. Be you therefore now partakers with them. For you sometimes are in darkness, but now you are in light. Walk as children of light. Oh, so we're supposed to walk as children of light. Oh. You know the word Christian? It means the anointed one, right? Well, the word Christian means the followers of the anointed one. Because the word Christ is the same as the Hebrew word Mashiach. That means oil. It means oil. Because oil, that's how olive oil, use that to light the, the lights. Like the menorah candles, the seven candlesticks, they light that with olive oil. Put the oil in there, and that gives light to the world. So that's why a true Christian is only an Israelite. And we're the light of the world. We out here giving, this the light, this the oil. This right here is the oil, right here. And the understanding of these scriptures, that's that oil. Oh, five doors wide, five doors wide, get that scripture. Know that scripture? A lot of y'all ain't got no oil. You know what I'm saying? This light, <laughs> this word, and the understanding of this truth is the oil. Did anybody can have a Bible? A lot of you, anybody can pick up a Bible and read it. You know what I mean? But do you have the understanding of the Bible? It's like, if you have a Bible and you don't understand it, that's like having a lamp with no oil in it. It's like having a flashlight with no batteries. Or having a phone with no charger. You know what I mean? I mean, you got a phone, but you can't even charge it. You can't even use it. You can't even use a flashlight. What you got? They never were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. The wives took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. So that, uh, and at midnight, there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom coming, go ye out and to, to meet him. And all those virgins arose and turned their lamps. And the fool said unto the wives, Give us the oil for our lamps are gone out. The wives answered, saying, Not so, here be not enough for us and you. <laughs> Go, you rather do that sell and buy for yourself. For while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with them to marry in the world. And afterwards, and also the other virgin saying, Go, Lord, open to us. But he answered them and said, Really, I said to you, I know you not. Watch ye therefore, for you know it neither the day nor the hour when you come down the that's the point, but anyway, that five said it's five is wise and five is foolish. Because you have, you know, some people, they're going to have, we, we got the oil in our land, we got the understanding, we got this knowledge. But a lot of y'all got no oil, you got no understanding. It's like, like you said, it's like you walking around in the dark with no light. And they're going to come up to us. Here it is, they've been running, talking shit about us forever. They're going to come up to us and try to borrow our light. They're going to try to borrow some oil from us. You gotta go get your own oil. You can't have our oil. It's Ephesians 5 and uh. What was I at? Hey, for you were sometimes darkness, but now you're a light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. So we're supposed to walk as children of light. And how do you walk as children of light? You're doing the work, teaching the gospel. Plus, when you're not out here teaching, when nobody sees you, because we can come out here and be seen in men and be like, oh, there's the Israelites teaching. You know? Oh, they're such righteous men. But then you still gotta be walking righteous when you are home by yourself. You know what I mean? You got a bunch of weekend warrior Israelites. They just Israelites when they're in the camp. As soon as they get home, boy, they throw that garment in the corner. You know what I mean? A lot of guys, a lot of y'all ain't serious. You can see a lot of dudes ain't serious, man. I don't even know why y'all even come into this thing. 
just so the Lord kick you out. Oh, shit. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Look, and have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. So we ain't supposed to have no fellowship with these evil demons out here. Like, if you know somebody's an evil demon, and you've been teaching them, and they're not listening, you're supposed to stay away from that person, man. You're not supposed to hang out with them. For it is a shame to even speak of those things which are done to them in secret. Oh, you don't want to know what these people is doing in secret. Oh, like we're talking about Oprah. You don't want to know what Oprah and Winfrey doing in secret. You know what I mean? She's doing all kind of witchcraft and sorcery. It's like all these other famous people and politicians. You don't want to know what they're doing in secret. You don't want to know what the average person is doing in secret. The average person is a weirdo. I get him confused, bro. Yeah, this is gonna be the rest of it. I'm gonna read that one part. I have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame to even speak of those things which are done to them in secret. Like I said, you don't want to know what these people are doing in secret out here, man. Like, what are these women doing in secret? What are they doing in secret? And these men, you got a lot of men, they actually secretly homosexual. You know what I mean? They got a girlfriend and everything, but they still doing weirdo stuff on the side. You don't, you don't want to know what these people are doing in secret out here. But look at this. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever does make manifest is light. So right, so all this dirt gonna come out sooner or later. You can't you can't escape the Lord. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Yahweh shall shall give thee light, and shall give thee light. Oh. That's what we telling these people out here. We telling y'all to do this. Awake thou that sleepest. Because y'all sleeping out here. Y'all out here sleeping. Y'all sleep. He said, Awake thou that sleepest. Arise from the dead. So the Lord said, Y'all dead. That's y'all the walking dead out here. Zombies. In a dead state. A dead state of mind. So that's why we out here, you know what I'm saying? Through the Spirit of the Lord giving y'all life. Because His word is life. What's that? John 14? He said, uh, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. That's a fire scripture right here. But look, let me read that again. Wherefore he says, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shai shall give thee light. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but wise. Redeeming the time because the days were evil. And we living in them evil days right now. Uh, that's pretty much the point I want to get on there. Scripture said, "Trim your lamps." Hey, it said we gotta trim our lamps, man, and make this make it brighter. That's a good point. So you got that oil, though. You can't trim your lamp if you ain't got no oil. It says the way of the wicked is as darkness. Who the way the wicked is as dark? Where you at? The way of wicked. Read that again. That's a good one. They know not what they start. Oh, that's just like when the Lord's on the cross. He said, Father, please forgive them. But they know not what they do, right? These, yeah, they, people out here sitting, doing all kind of wicked shit. Because they don't, they don't realize they're being wicked. 
They can't see. They got no sight. They can't. You know what I mean? What's that one right here? Uh, we're Corona. Oh, you talking to Chinese bitches? <laughs> Chinese women. That bitches. And that bitches. They're human beings. They're not viruses. Yes. Oh, yeah. I am not a virus. <laughs> oh! Look at this. This is fire. It's not what I'm looking for. I, I know it's on 119. One, is it 121? Nope, it's 105. It's an old classic picture. You know that? 119, 105? Everybody know that picture. Psalms 119 on 105. Actually, let me start on 105. Yeah, this whole chapter fire. Look, I'm gonna start at 104. This is Psalms 105 and 104. Where should I start above that? Start at one. I start at one. That's how I be doing your hug. Cause you're so good, you don't. It's like, how can I gotta start in the middle? It's all so good. Cause really, that's how the word is, though. Especially you get to the Psalms. Bro, you can just read whole books and whole chapters, you know what I mean? And it's gonna be fire. That's why I like reading all of them, bro. Yeah, that's that's one of them. 119 hard. Yeah, it go hard, bro. I'm gonna start at this. This is Psalms 119 and 104. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate, I hate every false way. Oh. So we hate every false way. The Lord hates every false way. What's a false way? A false way saying the Lord love everybody. That's false. Saying uh, God came to save all nations. Everybody equal. That's false. Saying that the law is done away with. That's false. <laughs> saying Chinese people is not a virus. That's false. Esau is a virus. It's a virus. It's a pathogen. Yeah, Esau is a pathogen. Uh, what else is false? All I'm saying is an immaculate cons people, they are teaching Mary is a virgin. That's false. We hate that. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. You say you can't lust after a woman. That's false. How did any of us get here, bro? That don't even make no, that don't even make no sense. Oh, you can't cuss? That's utterly false. Well, some Christians teach you can't be mad at it. They say you really can't be mad at it. I used to believe that shit. I mean, you can't, you gotta control your anger. Yeah, you know, we can't let it get the best of you. But yeah, yeah, of course you get mad. Look, what is this? Hatred is anger, right? They're gonna give a Yoda speech. From anger comes suffering. <laughs> Pain leads to hate. Yeah, that nigga said that. He said you can't, you can't hate. Yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't suffer. You can't, uh, uh, I forget it. You gotta look at the quote. I, used, I always damn near had that shit memorized. Suffering, hate. Anger. No, at first it started off with fear. He's like, yeah, oh, yeah. fear. He's like, fear leads to, to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. It's not supposed to fear. It's supposed to fear the most high. Yeah. It's supposed to hate. It's supposed to hate wickedness. It's supposed to be angry. It's supposed to be angry and sin not. That's why we. That's why we've been saying Eric the was the good guy. Ben said that. He said, my point of view, the general idea. He, he was right. Yeah. He said, from my point of view. That's my dude, bro. Fuck out of here. Oh, bitch. Oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Uncle Tom ass, bro. He, he ain't no different than one of these bootlickers out here. No. You do everything the government say. Fuck the Obi-Wan Kenobi. Well, we, man, you just got one scripture. We can uh, go on this all day. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. Right, the scripture said, don't eat pork. So when people say it's okay to eat pork, and your pastor tell you, oh, you can eat pork, it's okay. We hate that. Oh, when people celebrate Christmas, when people say they celebrate Christmas and saying that's the Lord's birthday, we hate that. That's a false way. Oh, we're coming up on goddamn Easter now. That's a, that's a false way. 
Here it is, Easter is the actual name of a goddess. And y'all Christians celebrate Easter. It's literally called Easter. It should might as well just call it the goddess day. The fertility day. Wow. Oh shit. The song. You gotta get your ass beat for that. The song. I heard it too. He was singing this song hard as fuck. He was singing like uh, he was saying uh, uh, I'm praying to God. I wonder if, if, if she hear it. I'm like, I'm trying to like, is he say she? Like what? He's so trying to make his poem a god a woman. He's like, oh my god, it's you know you can say oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like what is this? Yeah. Oh my god, that's that's a huge insult. It's like somebody coming to you and calling you a bitch. That's like the commit people to the all black woman's God. The woman's not God, she's the devil. She's Satan. Yeah, she's the one who made the covenant with the serpent. She's the first one that fucking sinned. Yep. First, we all die. Yeah, through her we all die. From the woman became the beginning of sin. And you can see that makes sense too though, because the most high did not give the woman the spirit of righteousness. Or knowledge or wisdom or understanding or anything. The women are not into knowledge and getting knowledge like us, man. That's the that's the myth. Women don't even listen to talk radio barely. You know what I mean? Like I be listening to talk radio all the time. It's very rarely a woman calling in. I don't know any women that listen to the radio or they're really into the news. Oh, go ahead, you good. I just fucking hate it. When I be watching uh, shows, movies, whatever, where it be like, oh shit, like ancient world, you know, swords and shit like that. Yeah. And they got the woman, she whooping everybody's ass. She's the, she's the princess, the king, too. Like, you gotta marry this nigga. And she all disobedient, like, nah, nigga, I ain't marrying him. It's like, man, come on. If, if that shit happened back in the day, that bitch would have had a head chopped off. God damn it. Shit's bad. Well, they trying to, uh, they, they put that, that's how, that's that delusion, that strong delusion. They giving these women out here that strong delusion. All these new action movies coming out. Mulan. You see that shit? Oh, no. Nah. There's a new Mulan, right? Yeah, it's live action movie. I ain't watching it. I've seen the cartoon. Dude, that Disney channel, that's a bullshit. That Disney channel makes these kids bullshit. I'm yeah. telling you, only one Disney channel movie that I actually... I don't even say Google, but I get kind of, you know, kudos to this. Yeah. Was that? It's called a Ray or something. Yeah, it's called Ray. The bitch, she's like Irish bitch. Right? I was just watching that. Yeah, Ray. Because, because always, no. That shit was fire. Yeah. Did you see the stone circle they had? Yeah, I think I, I, I can't. I think it's like 13 stones or yeah. something. 12 stones. Because normally in the movies they always have the woman at the end, or the parents at the end always apologize to the child. Oh, you right? I should listen to you. But now in the end, she she apologized to her parents like, yeah, I'm sorry. I said this to you. You know, that's that's the only time I really seen like Disney Channel do something like that. Other than that, fucking parents. Was that, that was the, the parents fucking they 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 scared of the parent of the, the child and shit. And it's like, oh, yeah, fucking, it's like the way what he said, oh, uh, that little bitch, that little nigga, uh, Zay dying, whatever. He said, oh, he's the, he's the leader of us, this house or some shit. A twelve year old. Yeah. Here he got a 12 year old. He can let his 12 year old son be a tranny. And we're, and we're fucked up when we talk shit about it, you know? Uh, you got fucking Cardi B kind of crazy nigga, whatever. I mean, man, this fuck about Cardi B. This a hoe. Like, I, I would never have one Cardi B to be on my side. Like, why would you want some bitch to be on my side? I'm just a hoe, man. She was admitted that she, uh, she used to set dudes up for, like, she's gonna have sex with them, rhyme for that money. Or she would have sex with him and rob him for that money. She admitted that shit on Vlad TV. Was that Vlad? Somewhere. The one of the brothers that uh, the one going to try working in Hawaii. He said, uh, he was in the, he was in the troop he was cooking or whatever, in some type of restaurant. He met her. I think they were working at some shit. She was just a nasty bitch. She was all She had no manners. She was all over the place. Hey, she don't look like that. She don't look very classy. She ain't very, she ain't classy. Got no class. She 
you try them, bro. She be rapping like a dude. <laughs> all masculine. Yeah, that's the thing about Cardi B. She all masculine. They pushing that vibrate. They want the women to try that sound masculine. They setting your women up for failure. That's a strong delusion. Women think they equal to men. There it is. A woman gonna think she equal to a man. Now she get confident. She's feeling herself. Now she's up in a man's face, cussing at him, spitting on him, and then she gets knocked the fuck out with one punch. How many times? You, oh, I just seen in the news a dude caught his girl on fire, bro. Just whoo. Talk that bitch. <laughs> Who won that one? <laughs> I'm going to read this again. Psalms 119 and 104. Through thy precepts I get understanding. Therefore I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Going back to the light. So this word is a lamp unto my feet. That's a famous scripture. The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Obviously. Because if, if you don't have this truth and this knowledge. You, you can't see shit in this world, man. Y'all walking around in blind and darkness out here. That's why you people are so easily deceived. All like with that coronavirus shit. They get easily deceived. Like a lot of these fools, if they come out with a coronavirus vaccine, y'all gonna take the vaccine. You gonna line up and volunteer to take it. Just like with the flu shot. Every year they got this flu shot, and you dumbass people take the flu shot, and it gives you the flu. Cause y'all are so easily deceived out here. I'm waiting for one boy to talk about The dude said it was a sin to look at a woman. So he walking around in darkness. Let me uh, keep going. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna read some of this. I have sworn I will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. So all these judgments, is, all this, this word is righteous, it's holy. These people, they don't respect them. They don't think this. They don't really. They don't really accept this Bible as being holy. It's not really sacred to them. Cause we can read the words out of the Bible, and they gonna despise these words. They hate these words. Okay. Yeah, they are gonna talk over it. He was like, no, no, no. That's what he did. He, he read that scripture where he said, "Desire a woman." He's like, "No, no, 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 no." Like, that's true. It's fucking me. Say no to the word of the Lord. They always do that. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according to that word. Accept, I beseech thee, the free will offering to my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My, uh, my soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, for me yet I erred not from thy precepts. There's all kind of snares and traps out here, but we're going to still keep teaching the truth. Look, thy testimonies have I taken as a heritage forever. For they are rejoicing in my heart. Yeah, we rejoice in it. We get excited when we read the scripture. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. Even unto the end. So the statutes like what? What well, the commandments. They ain't supposed to the obvious commandments, thou shalt not kill, steal. Y'all commit adultery, eating pork. You know, if you're a grown ass man, you're supposed to have a beard on your face. It's a sin to shave your beard off according to the Bible. So if you're a grown ass man, you should have a beard on your face. Otherwise, you're sinning. And you need to repent from that and grow your beard out. That's a sin. Okay? It's like if you eat pork. If you eat pork, you're supposed to repent of that and stop eating pork. Hey, the Bible says you're supposed to repent because the kingdom is at hand. What does it mean to repent? To repent means you turn away from sin. And a sin is when you break one of the laws of the Bible. It, a sin is not something you think is a sin in your mind. Okay? A, saying a cuss word is not a sin. Okay? Being attracted to women is not a sin, like the church teaches. Okay? Drinking alcohol is not a sin. Eating pork's a sin. Shaving your beard off is a sin. Having goddamn tattoos is a sin. <laughs> they 
ain't trying to hear that. They said, oh, the law is done away with. Everybody got damn face tattoos. You gonna tell me the Lord to get tatted up? The law is done away with. Moses had tattoos now. Oh, almost everybody got tattoos nowadays. You ain't got nothing to do with Neither one of us. That's another thing, because that's just in our spirit. We knew that shit wasn't right, man. All my family members got tattoos. I think I'm the only one with no tattoos. I, yeah, you ain't fucking my skin up. Your, body, your body's your temple, man. That's like you go to the temple of the Lord and start spray painting graffiti on it. You know? And they be getting some dumbass tattoos, too. They get a tattoo of a comic book character or some shit, dumbass shit. Bitches got horror tattoos. They got paw prints on their titties. Look like they've been walked on all the trips. They like literally tell you I've been walked on over. They got paw prints on their tits. Yeah, the tramp stamps. That's gross. Tramp stamps. The bitches are whores. Oh no. Nah, that's Wuhan virus. What's up, boy? Oh, you got that Wuhan on there, don't you? You a Scientologist? Yeah. For real? Hey, can I ask you a question? What about Lord Zenu? Hey, you know about Lord, you know about Zenu? You know about, you don't know about Zenu? What about the Galactic Federation? What y'all get coronavirus and have the head ass? They always act, act like they don't know about Lord Zenu, bro. Like they don't know about the Galactic Federation. They getting, they getting like the Mormons now, bro. They everywhere. They proselytizing all over the place. You made him mad when you said that crap. Oh, he did? He got mad. Hey, that dude was probably a Jake, though, wasn't it? And he looked like, he looked like uh, China Mac. You know, something like that rapper. He looked like a one in MC China. Yeah, MC. <laughs> oh, you got that. Why well, didn't take him? I told you got that Wuhan. <laughs> it's that Wuhan got you all in check. My <laughs> fault, <laughs> <laughs> man. I, I repented that, man. I'm sorry. I was gonna get him back. I apologize. I feel, I feel bad now, man. That was dirty. Man, he's passing out Scientology letters. Fuck him. What? Ah, oh, shit, we gotta go, huh? Shit, we gotta go, bro. A fucking, uh... It's already 5 o'clock. Our meter an hour over, so... Hey, let me read this one last scripture. There's one last piece. I'm gonna read the, uh, the iron part. Because this is a, uh... What's it called? Acrostic? Psalms 119 is acrostic. Go look at it. Do your homework. That I have done judgment and justice, leave me. This is uh, 1, 19, 121. I have done judgment and justice, leave me not to mine oppressors. Be surety for thy servant for good, let not the proud oppress me. Oh, we talking about that earlier. Mine eyes shall fail for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according to thy mercy and teach me thy statutes. That we pray in the Lord, he teaches the statutes. You know, we know him, we teach him. And the Lord going to keep teaching us more. You know, because our understanding of the truth is continually growing, too. You know what I mean? See, the truth always remains the same, but our understanding of the truth grows as time you know, goes by. Deal with thy servant according to thy mercy and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimony. It is time for Yahweh to work, for they have made oath, for they have made more thy law. That's what, that's what he's just talking That's the spirit. I did not know he was going to say that. That's what these people doing. They make void the law. They say the law is done away with. They say you're allowed to eat pork, get tattoos, shave your beard off, you know, everything. Celebrate Christmas, do all this madness. 
That's what these people do. It is time for thee, uh, Yahweh, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore, look. Now they say the law is done away with, but this is what we say. Therefore, I love thy commandments above gold. Yea, above fine gold. See, this is, the commandments are like gold. That's why we're not going to turn into uh, obese pieces of shit. We don't eat pork. We keep the dietary laws. We know that law is there to protect us. You know, that law is there to, for our welfare. The welfare of the wise is the wisdom of the people. Something like that. Oh, the world, yeah. Same thing. Therefore, I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. We're just going to end it on that. We got to get up out of here. We're going to say Shalom. Oh, man.